When it comes to the realm of arcade games, is there any studio that has put out more quality titles than PopCap Games? Best known for their immensely popular Plants vs. Zombies series, PopCap Games have also produced classics like the entrancing Tile Matchers of Bejeweled, the simple and satisfying Feeding Frenzy games, and the frantically intense titles of the Zuma franchise. Along with a litany of other popular arcade games such as Astro Pop and Heavy Weapon, PopCap has proved time and time again that they know what makes an arcade experience fun and rewarding. And this talent is on full display in their wonderfully brilliant title Peggle, a game that's as close to arcade perfection as I think you can get. If you've never played Peggle before, let me break down the general premise for you. Peggle is a pachinko-like game that involves shooting a ball into a number of pegs of various shapes and colors with the goal of eliminating all the orange pegs from each board. Just before every round, you select a Peggle Master who will help you clear the level by granting you their special ability if you can hit one of the two green pegs on screen. Each time you shoot, you lose one of your starting balls unless you can land it in the bucket that moves across the bottom of the screen or score more than 25,000 points and the level only ends when you either run out of balls to shoot with or you've cleared the board of the last orange peg. Like most fantastic arcade games, the concept is simple, easy to digest, and endlessly replayable. Whether it's your first time or your hundredth, Peggle is able to maintain a level of excitement few games can match. There is so much nervous anticipation after each shot that it turns a very casual experience into an adrenaline pumping one. It's an exhilarating sensation, similar to the thrill of playing a slot machine that comes equipped with all the same bright colors and loud noises. And much like a casino game, Peggle has an addictive quality to it as you watch, almost trance-like as your shot bounces from peg to peg in hopes of netting a free ball. It's wildly entertaining and admittedly easy to get lost in, as I have done on more than one occasion. Part of what makes Peggle so easy to play for hours at a time is how the game is able to keep you engaged despite a lack of active gameplay. Aside from the few moments it takes to set up each shot, a majority of the time is spent watching with bated breath as your ball follows the course you've set for it. Despite how non-committal that sounds, it's hard not to get invested as you watch your ball ricochet around the board in pursuit of a big score. It's a truly mesmerizing experience, like playing a coin pusher at Chuck E. Cheese or Dave & Buster's, where you can only watch and hope that you aimed your shot in the right direction. Granted, it's not all luck, and as you play more, you'll develop little strategies that help you to be successful more consistently. You will be able to not only get a better sense for how the physics and mechanics of the game work, but you'll also get more familiar with the boards themselves. It'll be easier to understand which Peggle Master is most appropriate for each level and how best to use their abilities. And recognizing the moments where you need to prioritize points over going for the objective and vice versa will become more clear. This allows you to feel more satisfied when you do pull off a big shot, especially if it was something you planned out beforehand rather than just getting lucky in the moment. But getting lucky is half of what makes Peggle so memorable. Missing completely but getting a favorable coin toss to get you another shot, watching a ball fly across the screen to land directly in the bucket, or getting a lucky bounce into the last peg you need for a free ball is what this game is all about. Surviving improbable odds and pulling off clutch shots are in the makeup of Peggle's DNA and adds so much to the game's excitement. It's why the game incentivizes you to be stylish by rewarding you with extra points for rare or impressive shots. And it's why it's so fun to explore all the different options Peggle has to offer. Something that makes Peggle special is that although the layout of the pegs will be the same each time you replay a board, the layout of the peg's color is random every time. This wonderful decision makes it so that every round will produce a different outcome, even if you play the same level with the same character over and over again. While some levels are hardly affected by this, others can become drastically more difficult or easy, depending on the placement of the orange and green pegs. While this eliminates the ability to perfect a strategy for any one particular level, it also preserves the game's replayability and prevents the game from becoming solvable. Also, depending on your perspective, it makes playing difficult boards less daunting, as the knowledge that you can get an easy layout on your next try is always on the table. Moreover, it means that on top of having a robust selection of over 115 levels to choose from between Peggle and Peggle Knights, each board provides multiple puzzle variations to overcome. Combined with how every one of the 11 Peggle Masters change how you approach each challenge through their distinct special abilities, and you have a recipe for consistently fresh gameplay. This isn't even to mention the other superb modes which themselves add so much to the game's already sizable amount of content. Master Duel and Challenge Mode reuse the same levels you'll find in Quick Play and Adventure Mode, but add twists that brilliantly spice up Peggle's formula. 
While the core gameplay will stay the same regardless of what mode you're playing, the objectives are different in these two modes. Master Duel is a game of back and forth action to see who can score the most points, with a penalty given for every shot taken without hitting an orange peg. This creates a competitive atmosphere as you now try to take shots to make life more difficult for your opponent while racing to see who can get their special ability first. On the other hand, Challenge Mode is as it sounds and amps up the difficulty by forcing you to meet specific requirements. These objectives can range from clearing boards with significantly more orange pegs, to performing a set number of particular style shots, to scoring over or under a certain amount of points. And just as is the case with Quick Play, every level in both of these modes can be played with any of the 11 Peggle Masters. I think it's important to appreciate how incredible it is that Peggle gives you so many masters to choose from. Nothing gives Peggle more personality and replayability than these colorful characters who transform the game with their magical powers. One of the biggest disappointments in Peggle 2 is how they trimmed the number of playable masters from 11 to 7, with two of them being brought back from the original. Meanwhile, Peggle has twice the number of original characters as its sequel, and they all have interesting powers that stand out from one another. The powers range from Bjorn's basic yet effective super guide ability that helps you aim a bit more precisely, to Master Who's mystical and broken Zen Ball shot that automatically corrects your trajectory before launch to net you more points. These powers radically change the way you approach each board, and have the ability to save a doomed run or crush your chances of winning if you're not lucky. Among the best of these abilities are Claude's play-extending pinball-esque flippers, Cat Tut's pyramid of power that makes getting free balls a cinch, and Lord Cinderbottom's fireball that burns all the pegs in its path to a crisp. However, my favorite and most used master is easily Warren the Bunny with his magical lucky spin ability. In my mind, this is the apex of Peggle as we now add yet another random element into the mix for even more chaotic excitement. Now, instead of getting an ability outright when you hit a green peg, a wheel is summoned that has options that can grant a free ball, triple your score, or produce a magic hat that extends the range of your ball to easily hit more pegs. You can even get another master's ability, as the fourth option rotates between them with each new green peg hit. As a result, it becomes a power that captures the essence of what makes Peggle so gripping to begin with, as you can't help but sit in suspense as you hope for the wheel to land on the power that you need most in that moment. While you risk a disappointing end result with Warren's Lucky Spin, it's worth it for the possibility of glory that comes when a clutch triple score earns you multiple free balls, or the magic hat allows you to clear a path to that final orange peg. Because at the end of the day, Peggle is about risk and reward, and while the lows suck when they happen, it's the miraculous highs that you will ultimately remember. Which brings me to one of Peggle's best and most memorable features, the jubilantly blissful reward of Extreme Fever. Extreme Fever is the ultimate payoff for completing a level and is activated by touching the last orange peg on the board. Immediately you are treated to a display of fireworks as the game slows down to allow you to triumphantly watch with pride as your ball tumbles into one of the five bonus point holes that just appeared. At the same time, Ode to Joy blares overhead making your success feel like it is quite literally the greatest thing to ever happen. It is one of the most satisfying experiences in gaming, especially after a clutch winning shot, and substantially adds to the game's charm. These extra added details like Extreme Fever or the replay system PopCap decided to include are what helped Peggle ascend to the S tier of arcade classics. They helped the outstanding gameplay become even more enticing than it already is. It would be satisfying enough to have your ball roll smoothly across multiple pegs just for the rarity of the situation, but the game throws in an extreme slide and 50,000 extra bonus points for your troubles. Getting a lucky bounce into the bucket would be fine by itself for the free ball you get, but why not have Jimmy Lightning pop onto screen to award you with another 25,000 points? And if you're able to clear all the pegs from a board, why not enjoy Ultra Extreme Fever where every bucket is now worth 100,000 points? With this in mind, Peggle's strongest feature is its ability to make you want to come back and play more. Whether it's rewarding you with extra points and free balls, or providing you additional trials and challenges to overcome, there is always an incentive to keep playing. Even when you lose, there's a prevailing mood of hope that the next attempt will be better that keeps you from getting frustrated. In a way, it's actually somewhat cruel, as you can find yourself attempting the same puzzle over and over again because it feels like all you need is a little luck to win big. Fortunately, unlike a real casino game like Roulette or Craps, there is no penalty for losing and no cost to try just one more time. 
Peckle has been out since 2007, and chances are if you own a smart device, you have access to this game. It's so basic that the experience is largely the same whether you're on the big screen, a tablet, or a phone, which makes it a great game to play when you're on the go, or need to pass time. Similarly, it makes a fantastic game to play with friends, as it's simple to understand and has a casual yet captivating multiplayer mode similar to the dual mode we discussed earlier. It's a game that's fun for everyone whether you're young or old, new or experienced, or not even that into video games. And for me, that's the sign of a truly great arcade game. Arcade games should be easy to pick up and play. They should be rewarding and addictive. They should feature charm and personality. And they should make you feel good when you're playing, even when you're losing. With all its content, characters, and modes, I'd say Peggle is everything an arcade game should be, and even if future Peggle titles couldn't quite capture what made the original so iconic, at least PopCap games can rest easy knowing that they have achieved arcade perfection here.